I gave PT exam on 15th of November and I did one experiment and tried new templates for PT speaking and for PT writing. I will share my insights in this tutorial and I've got perfect 90. All the templates are proven and working and this is going to be the easiest template especially for your speaking module. I will be also sharing what I felt on the day of the exam what things I made sure that I kept in my mind while I was attempting PT exam so that it can help you to avoid silly mistakes as well. Hello everyone, this is Vishal here from Visual Language Experts. I will divide this tutorial into two halves. In this tutorial, I'm going to focus on speaking and listening module. I will be making one more tutorial where I'll be focusing on writing and reading module. So let's start with the speaking module first. When it comes to the read aloud, I did 12 words strategy. Yes, every single read aloud, I spoke only first 12 words. And I got about six read alouds and I got perfect marks, not only for the speaking, but also for the reading. Let me show you how I did the read aloud task. Participating regularly in physical activity has been shown to benefit an individuals. As you can see, I've got perfect 15. Similarly, I have got full marks in the real exam as well. So make sure that you follow this strategy as I have implemented and shown it to you guys. Now this is going to help you to get full marks for the reading content as well. And read aloud is very important task for your reading module guys. For repeats and answers, I got about 10 of them. Now they were not very lengthy, one or two were lengthy, but I used the hybrid strategy. So I actually took notes for the last part of the repeat sentences and that way I could manage very well in the lengthy sentences as well. Let me demonstrate this strategy for you guys. These developments are discussed in more depth in chapter 9. These developments are discussed in more depth in chapter 9. So what I did, I focused on the last part of the repeat sentence when I was taking notes. I was not writing everything, but I was also making sure that I am only writing in abbreviations, not initial letters, because that will help me to identify and retain what I have written. So let me show you my notes on the notebook. And as you can see, I've got 12.5 out of 13, but I was not using microphone, so I'm getting perfect scores in fluency and content nevertheless. Use the same strategy guys for your repeat sentences as well. Now one thing I want to share when it comes to repeat sentences is that, that I was always aware when the recording is getting started. In the real exam what happens is that once the audio is being played, they give you one to two seconds, then they actually start recording you. So what you have to do is don't just straight away start speaking. Always look at the screen, then start speaking. So while I was taking the notes, after I noted down the words, then I used to look at the screen and then I used to start speaking. But also please make sure that if you are facing difficulties in the long sentences, start using note taking as well. Not every single word you need to write for repeat sentences, only few bits, but that's gonna help you in the lengthy sentences as well. And that's the reason I got perfect marks in speaking module and in listening module. Now, before I move to Descry image, I also want to emphasize on my headphone checking and microphone checking. Before I started my exam, I made sure that my microphone is at optimal position. Now, what is the right position? Now guys, if you are heavy speaker, that means if your voice is very heavy, keep your microphone a little bit close to your chin. On the other hand, if your voice is not very heavy, you can keep it close to upper lip but now my voice is balanced I am a little bit of a heavy voice so I kept my microphone close to my lower lip now, I was not keeping it too close I kept it little bit away right so that my breathing sound is not distorting the speech or the content I'm speaking so please guys make sure that you don't keep it too close to your lips keep it a little bit far away so that your 
breathing sound is not impacting your speech. After I checked my microphone, I moved to the headphone checking. I made sure that the audio is very clear. There is no background sound. And when I was very sure, then I started my exam. So make sure when you go and sit for the exam, repeat the same process so that you can avoid any technical errors in your equipment such as microphone or headphones. Now let's talk about a scry image and retail lecture guys. I tried the simplest template out there and it worked really well. Let me show you the template I used. If you want the access to the template, you just have to go to the template tab and over there you need to go to this November 2024 updated templates. Now this is a template I used for all the four describe image I got in the exam. I got all the graphs. I did not get any image. I got all the images with a lot of content. So when it comes to the images with a lot of content, you have to make sure that you are speaking enough content. So and this template is going to help you to do that. Now this template is very easy. What you have to do is you have to speak the first sentence, which is going to be the main topic. Then you will be speaking one one words. I did not use a lot of phrases. I spoke a lot of single words. So you can also do it. And I spoke left side or top side of the image or then right side or the bottom side of the image. Then I used two keywords and used highlighted. Two keywords and I used mentioned. Two keywords and I used highest. And two keywords lowest. Now, what is the highest element? What is the lowest element? That is something you need to quickly identify in 25 seconds. So in this particular sentence, you need to make sure that you put which is the highest element. You speak that particular word and figure only. And whatever is the lowest, you mention it in this sentence, which is keyword and keyword was lowest. Then the last sentence before the conclusion was keyword and keyword was also given. Then to conclude, phrase was the main feature. So I use the topic over here. Now, let me give you a quick example. Now, let's say this is the image over here. Now, if I get 25 seconds, and if I need to identify the maximum or the highest or lowest element, what would be the highest Asia and around 300 and the lowest is going to be Africa around 40. So how I have to speak, I have to speak Asia and 300 was the highest, whereas Africa and 40 was the lowest. So when you put in the keywords in the highest and lowest sentences, you will be putting out the number as well and you will be putting out the figure as well. So both the things you need to put it in the highest column as well and in the lowest column as well. Now this is a sample response. So as I said, vehicle sales by region was the main topic of the image. Thousands of vehicles was on the left side. Cars and trucks was on the right side. First quarter and second quarter was also highlighted. Mexico and Europe was also mentioned. Asia and 310 was highest, whereas Africa and 40 was lowest. First quarter and US was also given. To conclude, vehicle sales by region was the main feature. Now that's exactly what I did. Make sure that you practice this template. Very easy template guys. You are not going to get any easier than this. I use the same template for all the four images, right? And I gave my exam on 15th of November and I got my results on 18th of November. So it took about three days and I was very sure that human is going to check my exam because it took about three days. But on a positive side, I got perfect scores. Now this template is working. Make sure that you practice it enough times before attempting the exam. Now, if you like this template, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up because that's going to motivate me to make such more valuable content videos for you guys. Now let's talk about retail lecture. Retail lecture, it was very easy for me because I used this technique where I was using small phrases as well and I was using big phrases as well. So this is a template I use for retail lecture. Over here, I used big phrases as well from around three to four words. And when I was not able to get big phrases, what I did was I used two small phrases. So I used one phrase of two words and then similarly another phrase also of two words. So I spoke four words when I was not able to get big phrases. That's what you need to do. So when it comes to retail lecture, don't be afraid that you only have to pick big sentences. That's fine. I only spoke sentences of around four words. Actually, it was a phrase, right? But when I was not able to get a phrase also, I just picked up small phrases. Okay. And make sure that you follow this template. Template is that phrase was the main topic of the lecture. Initially, phrase was told by the speaker. Moreover, phrase was discussed by the speaker. 
Additionally, phrase was also mentioned. Then phrase was also highlighted. Lastly, phrase was also given in the lecture. To conclude, phrase was the focus or keynote of the lecture. That's it, guys. I got two reader lecture and I used the same template and I got perfect scores for listening module and perfect scores for speaking module. Follow the same in your practice sessions and you will get your desired bands. Answer short questions were very easy. I got three questions and they were very straightforward. And I just gave the answers and quickly moved to the writing section. Now I'm going to discuss about listening module. I only focused on four tasks, guys. So if you're also struggling in listening module, please only focus on four tasks. Summarize spoken text, listening fill in the blanks, highlight incorrect words, and write from dictations. For listening module, I use this template, summarize spoken text on the screen. For summarize spoken text, I use this template. Now I got two summarize spoken text, so I use the same template, but I made sure that I was focusing more on nouns. Now, this is very important that when it comes to summarize spoken text, you have to focus on two components specifically when it comes to proofreading, which is your spelling and grammar. I had about three minutes, guys. I wrote my answer around six minutes and then I had approximately three minutes to proofread. You have to be very quick when it comes to summaries because you only hit 10 minutes inclusive of the lecture audio. So, guys, Focus on the notes, focus on the nouns. And yes, when I was not getting big phrases, I used two single words as well, but both of them were noun. So make sure when you are using the single words, they need to be noun as well. Now, after I completed my summarized spoken text, I was not very concerned with the multiples, but yes, I was paying full attention while I was listening to the audio. And as you guys would already know, you cannot skip an answer until the audio is finished. That means you have to wait until they have finished the entire question for your multiple choice questions, right? So in that case, guys, my advice is pay full attention to what they're saying. And I only selected one answer in one of the multiple choice questions because there's also negative marking. Then it came to fill in the blanks. Now for listening fill in the blanks, I was very much focused because I knew they are going to give me lecture audios which are going to be fast, and that's what happened. One of the listening fill in the blanks audio was fast, but I was prepared. I was writing my notes, but my eyes was always on the screen. That's what you guys need to do. So when it comes to listening fill in the blanks, don't look down and write. Look always on the screen, but your fingers should move so that you can take notes. Now listening fill in the blanks is very important task guys. Contribute a lot of marks towards writing and listening module. I got two in the exam but I got all of them correct. And that's the reason I got perfect scores in listening module and in writing module. A lot of students struggle in spellings. Please make sure that you improve your spellings, guys. Otherwise, this task is going to be very challenging for you. Highlight correct summaries and then multiple choice questions, single answers and select missing words. These were not my key areas. I was just focusing on the audio I read the question very quickly. I was focusing on the audio. And then as soon as the audio was finished, I had my answer. I did not waste any time after the audio was finished. And that's why when I came to write from dictations, I had about five minutes. That's an ample amount of time. That's what you need to do as well. Now let's talk about highlighting correct words. Highlighting correct words for the second last task. I got three questions, guys. And trust me, one question was easy, the other two were very fast and the accent was also very thick. But I knew this that's going to happen. So I was very prepared and I was fully concentrated. Now, what I also experienced, guys, as you can see on the screen, I had a lot of words at the end of the sentences and at the start of the sentences as well. So what I felt was that they always try to give you a word close to the end so that when you actually are towards the end, you can lose focus very easily, right? But I was very well prepared. I did not lose any focus and I was able to get perfect scores. So I got three questions. All of them had five incorrect words. So that means 15 marks, not only for the listening module, but also for the reading module as well. Now, lastly, I came to write from dictations. I got three questions. They were not very difficult. Only one was a little bit fast, 
but I managed very well. I used extra words as well. And obviously I did not get any penalties. So you can also use extra words if you're in confusion. Right from dictation is the most important task of your listening module. So make sure that you spend enough time on this task. Do not rush a full concentration. Listening is all about concentration. Now, these were the insights from the speaking module and from the listening module. I will be also sharing my insights from the writing module and from the reading module as well. So stay tuned and if you're new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe. And please click on the bell notification icon because when I post the tutorial for writing and reading insights, you will be notified. So don't worry guys, don't be afraid. Templates are working, strategies are working. Just implement the way I have shown you. All the very best. I will see you in my next tutorial where I will be sharing insights on writing and reading module. Thank you guys for Shale signing off from VLE. And again, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up icon. Thank you guys.